Hello everyone and welcome back to another satisfactory video. Over the past week or so, I've been working on this new design for a hub that I really wanted to showcase you guys, but I wanted to get it as close to being as finished as possible. So I can't wait to show you guys what I've been working on. But before we get to that, I do want to say if you do like this video, guys, please like and subscribe because it does really help out the channel and does recommend the channel to other viewers that we can help make the channel grow together. So it'd be greatly appreciated. Also, if you do want to follow my social channels, those will be in the video description. And if you want to follow my Reddit especially, you might get a sneak peek of new builds like this, which are shared on Reddit first. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you're probably going to notice about this build is just how different the art style is compared to a lot of my other builds. A lot of my other builds did go off of a 90 degree rule almost to where this one kind of breaks that rule completely and uses a lot more sharp angles and just a lot more angles to it. So I just really love how this turned out and we're going to be looking at this entire build today to see what this actually does. So the first thing you're probably going to notice when you first walk into the hub is this front hallway. Now this hallway is actually kind of a dual purpose one on the left side We have a trophy case which we have lights above kind of showcasing and lighting down onto the trophies and all the trophies are on a little pedestal design with some signs on the bottom on the floor that emit light up and it kind of gives it a really cool trophy case feel but then on the right side we actually have some power banks. Now, when I said I want everything to be functional, that's why these power banks are here. If we go into the next room, which we'll get into the rest of this room here in a second, but I can actually access if this entire power storage. Now, if you do know, when you're actually connecting all of your power grid together, these power banks will actually show me how the entire grid is, not just these three. So having these three here is kind of one for aesthetic purposes, but also it does act as an actual way to see how all my other facilities are keeping their storage and how much power we're at overall. So the other thing you're going to notice when you first walk in is this giant radar tower that we have in the middle of the hub. Now, the reason why I have this here is actually twofold. One, I actually wanted it to look more aesthetically pleasing to have something in the lobby that's kind of cool. But also this is a functioning space because it actually is something in the game that we're putting here that actually does have a purpose. So I actually really like how this turned out and having this radar tower in the middle of the room really works great for both aesthetic purposes, but also a functionality purpose. Now to the right, what we're actually going to see here is we have a whole bunch of different storage containers. We have concrete, reinforced iron plates, copper plates uh, or copper sheets iron rods, and then iron plates. Now, if you notice, all these materials are kind of something that we use for building purposes. So I wanted all these different materials that we're going to be using the most when it comes to designing other facilities to be kind of front and center and easy access. I don't have to go searching for them. So I wanted all the main materials that I need to be right here. This room here is actually empty, but what this is actually going to be is a hyper room tube or a hyper tube room. So what we're going to do is actually have a whole bunch of hyper tubes in here that will lead us to different buildings is what this room is going to be. Just as of right now, we don't have those hyper tubes hooked up yet because we're still working on making other buildings in this world. <clears throat> Past the radar tower, what you're going to actually see is the main hub itself. So here's where we decide to put the main hub. And then what you're going to see is that we do have a entrance in the ceiling so our drone can leave with very minimal clipping. I couldn't really avoid all of the clipping, but I tried to avoid it as much as possible. So you can see that the drone does have an opening up above. And then if we go to the left when we first walk in, one, you're going to see another trophy case here just with another bigger statue again lighting up above. And then with the same using the signs down low to kind of emit that light up to again make it look like a really clean trophy case. But the other thing you're going to notice in this room are all these light panels. Now, the idea is, like I said, I want this to be a functioning hub. So I want all of this room to kind of act as the lighting control for the entire world when it's all hooked up and connected to the grid. So I want everything to come through this room. So I want to be able to have like this be the main hub lights. But then if we have an iron factory, I want those lights to come back to here so we can't control everything from one central hub. So again, it comes back to that functionality purpose of the entire facility. So if we go back into the hub room and just go to the other side of the hub, you're going to see this doorway here with some more signs. We have some more lighting. Everything's a little bit more clear. Now to the right, we have a sign that says truck depot stations one and two and to the left truck depot stations three and four. Now what these are doing are actually just the back rooms to kind of exporting all the stuff from the truck stations that will take us down into a sorting facility. So what you're actually seeing here is just the back in like the back rooms pretty much of how all the conveyors are looking and how everything is intertwined and connected together. I am clipping my walls through the truck station because I actually didn't want the truck stations to be like see through 
to where I could see all the conveyor. I want everything to be as clean as possible. And then if we keep going straight, we can see another sign that says truck, depot, and elevator. And then when we walk through the door, we see watch for moving vehicles. Now, the reason why is if we look, you can see all the different truck depot stations that we're going to be having that are going to be dropping off materials. Now, on the wall above the truck stations, you're actually going to see what the materials are that are being dropped off. So here, this first one, you're going to see smart plating, versatile framework, automated wiring, modular engines, magnetic field generators, and thermal propulsion engines or rockets. You're going to see all of those materials dropped off just in hub four. So while six might seem a lot, there actually are going to be different trucks coming in, but it is key that these go into these specific facilities because as we get into the sorting facility, you actually see why they are very important and why I do have everything labeled. But we can see that we have a total of eight truck stations. So we saw when we first walked in, we have one, two, three, four, and we have five, six. And then we have our space elevator, which I actually love the design of how I decided to do this. This took so long to figure out what I wanted to do with the space elevator. And I really love how this looks. I have the space elevator kind of, you know, right next to the truck depots, but then I have the glass angled so I can then access the actual hub for the space elevator. And then it's actually going to angle back and the rest of the space elevator is back behind the glass. And then we have our truck depot seven and eight. Again, we have some more science saying truck depot station seven and eight kind of accessing all the conveyor underneath or behind the truck stations. And here's what I was talking about with the clipping with the walls. You can't really tell that it's clipping from the front. So I actually really like how that looks. I can't see all the conveyor, you know, back behind it. So it keeps it looking really clean, which I do love. So when the trucks do come in, it actually is going to be a one way road. So you're not going to have trucks going in one way out the same. It's actually going to be just a big loop. That way we're not having as many clashing intersections and stuff like that with trucks coming in and trucks exiting. But then on the left, when you come in, you're going to see a whole bunch of awesome things. In total, we have six. Now we saw the one in the main hub, but those are for some different materials. If we come into this little room, we see storage, awesome sinks, and sorting. If we come through this door. You're going to see more signs, which we'll get to in a second. But if we go into the awesome sink room, we have six total awesome sinks. And these will actually be sorting if we have any overflow of all the materials that we're bringing in with trucks. It will sort those here if we do have any overflow. So it will just kind of keep adding more coupons to us. So that's just kind of why we have so many here. And all that will make sense when we get down into the sorting, sorting into the sorting facility. All right, so the other rooms that we did pass on the way in, we have material sorting and storage on the left, and then truck depot stations five and six. I'm not gonna go into the truck depot because obviously we've already seen what that looks like. Now material sorting and storage is here where the main part of the building kind of lies and the whole purpose of this building. We go down these stairs, you're gonna see another door saying sorting area. So if we come through, you can see a lot of conveyor and just how everything is gonna be working. I'm stuck. So what we're going to be doing is you can see all this different conveyor right here. I'm trying not to move too fast, but this little mod that I have installed for flying, it does move really quick. But pretty much what we're going to have is a whole bunch of programmable splitters. And we're actually going to be sorting all those materials that we have from the truck stations that, you know, all the signs that we had above. We're going to be sorting all those different materials into a storage facility down lower on another floor but here is the facility that we're just going to be sorting all those with programmable splitters so if we actually click on this one we can see that this one here is actually just splitting a radio control unit with a high speed connector but if we go to some other ones you can see that th this one has three and this one has six so we're sorting from six down to three and then those three will split into their own individual belts and then into this storage facility down low that's pretty much what all these little rooms are going to look like. And that's all the pretty much the exact same design. Nothing too complicated. It's just I wanted everything to look really clean and be as simple as possible. So everything is as easy to follow. And then if we keep going down, what you can see is actually elevator sorting, which we'll get to. But then if we keep going down, we're going to see is storage room. So what this room is, is actually very, very simple. This is just a giant storage room. So you can see that we have a total of 48 storage containers, but also those are four deep. So it's actually more than 48. So it's 48 times four. That's how many storage containers that we do have here. And it's actually a very clean layout. I love how this looks. We have the lighting up above showcasing the access ways that we have to walk, but we're not obscured by any conveyor. Now, the reason for that is all the conveyor is actually up above the storage containers. Now, the reason why I love doing this is one, it keeps a lot of the horizontal space free. 
now we have all that space for walkway we don't need so much space for conveyor but then also it's just empty space that's not being used so this is why i want to do it this way because it keeps it all so clean together and it's just such a clean looking way to do a storage room so if you guys do want to use this i definitely recommend it because as you can see look how clean everything is i can't see any conveyor from here unless i look up above everything is super clean eventually all these storage containers will be labeled with what they're going to be inputting and the idea is that then all those materials will then go into a merger and we can actually control those if we fly all the way over this is where we would feed the space elevator with whatever materials that we do need for you know whatever the space elevator requires we'll be able to supply them from here and same thing to the other side we're accessing the space elevator from both sides now one thing you'll see is that none of the mergers are connected to the actual storage containers now the reason for that is being that every storage container has its own different material i actually just want to be able to connect the materials that i needed at that time and let the others build up without going onto the conveyor belts that way we're not having to awesome sync everything but then let's say we do need to clear out a entire piece of conveyor because now we're done with let's say reinforced iron plates now we need modular frames we can then entirely sync the system then we we can actually just get rid of everything off those conveyors and that allows us to then empty in and put on our new items but if we keep going to the other end of the storage room what you're going to see here is we're going to come through this door down this long hallway and we're actually going to go up boop, boop. we're going to keep going up here what you're going to see is actually a building material sorting now all those storage containers that you saw originally in the hub you know where we had like our concrete plates all that stuff it's actually going to be coming in through here now this little entrance here is actually the entrance right here that we have if we look at our signs you can see that it says hub building material drop off so here we're going to have a truck bringing in all the materials that we need just for building so you know like i said the plastic the concrete all that stuff is going to be coming into here and then what we're going to do is sort that you know from this conveyor we're then going to use another programmable splitter and sort those into these storage containers here which will then if we come back over to this door will then feed upstairs into the storage containers that we do have up above but we do have some buffer down here as well so let's say we need one full storage container of concrete for our next build we can then grab the full thing of concrete up above and then we still have two full storage containers down here that we can fill up and then it will just replace the stuff that we took is the idea so very very simple and i think it's a great way to do things and the idea is like i said at the very beginning of this i want everything to be functional i want this entire hub to i actually need to spend my time here at this hub to take care of my entire you know world is what i want to do so that's why i want this entire thing to feel connected but let's say we do have excess you know concrete and stuff like that it will once again it will overflow and then into this awesome sink here so if we do have any overflow of iron rods iron plates you know all those things that we need to build it will feed into the awesome sink to again not keep the truck station kind of not overflowed so that's kind of the idea here but that is what this hub design looks like guys i absolutely love this hub i think the only thing i need to show you guys is just the drone port now you might have seen this at the very beginning i haven't talked too much about this and the reason why is it's here but i'm not sure what i want to use it for yet what i'm thinking is i want to be able to make batteries and then these drones will actually transport batteries to other drone ports that we can distribute across the entire world so i might just use these drones as distribution but if we go into this building it's very very simple all you're going to see is just walkway underneath and our drone ports are just sink down into the floor by one block one foundation and then we'll just have all the conveyor here sorting in you know bringing in whatever it needs or getting rid of whatever it needs is the idea so very very simple but overall this is the base design guys i love how this thing looks i love the different design that i decided to go with it did take probably seven or eight tries just to try to come up with a design that i did like and i think overall i love how this turned out i like how the back looks but i think i love how the front looks even more I love having the roads coming in, coming out. I think everything just feels so connected and so well done. I'm not usually too cocky about my stuff, but I think I just love how this looks. And I think everything is functional. Like I said, I wanted everything to be as functional as possible. And I think I've done that. 
So yeah, thank you for watching guys, it is greatly appreciated. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe because it does really help the channel grow and helps recommend the channel to other satisfactory users. But also, if you want to follow my social accounts, definitely do that as well because you're going to see sneak peeks of like this build, for example. There was a couple pictures put on Reddit before actually making this video, kind of showing some sneak peeks of things. So definitely go follow my Reddit. All those links will be down in the description as well. And thank you for watching, guys. It is greatly appreciated. If I'm not back before Christmas with another video, I hope you guys have a happy Christmas, happy holidays, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.